dreadful day again, isn't it? Here at Eakin again. Got Lown Wood. Fantastic view from here. In 2006, which was the last big year of Margaret Moss. Well, the Admiral was just hurtled through. I thought they were moving today. But yeah, in 2006, this is where we used to trap. Just there on this little area of grass, just out there. And in the autumn, the field had already been harvested, this field. And you could watch moths, you knew what were migrants. Because they used to come in from that direction, which was south southwest, and they used to come directly low up the field, which is what butterflies do. Butterflies always fly low to the field, and this morning in the garden I had painted lady in red admiral equally brief. But the Red Admiral paused on the sea and over and then went straight off north over the houses. And I've seen another Red Admiral today at Rufford and then one just gone through here. So there's obviously a small movement or some kind of movement going on. So I might hang around here a bit. The ideal setting for watching migration. Or for butterfly migration. Used to do it on top of there. There's like a cross of hedges and they stand top side of that and you could watch butterflies. And they'd hop out, come over the hedge, go in that way, away from me. And you could watch them low over the uh, fields. You can say which had been harvested then. And that's where we also saw the the last big painted lady migration. I don't think when that was, but it's a while ago now. And that was a fantastic afternoon, that was. But yeah, to see butterflies migrate, you need somewhere like this. Often with a hedge, if you've got a hedge that runs north to south, all well and good. Because butterflies will follow that, and they'll follow any sort of linear feature or you can stand in front of a hedge that runs sort of east to west where you can stand here and look across and you can see butterflies go over scanning with binoculars helps certainly to identify species and so likewise they'll come up through this gap here and they'll come straight north up the side of Lamb Wood. But they're always usually low to the field. Usually only a couple of feet. And you can get groups of butterflies in autumn. I've seen small groups of red admirals. Yeah, maybe five up to seven. I mean, sort of noticeable loose groups. The definite groups. Yeah, butterfly migration is a real thing. For many years, it was thought to be fanciful that butterfly or return migration, especially that butterflies move south, but they do. Watched them for years. On a good day, it can be brilliant. As as you know, bird migration catch a good day, there's nothing like it. So, I'm going to walk back down this way towards the car, stand by the gate, just see where it always goes through. Have a look around where you are. There's a good chance that even if you don't see a butterfly visibly moving through, 
that there'll be a red admiral or something. There's a small torch on here. There, gone. Yeah, there's a good chance that you'll see a red admiral on territory. Often somewhere quite woody and partially shaded. So, that's a bit about butterfly migration. As I walk to the car, I'll leave you this fantastic view. Still a little bit here.